all that stress on my brain, right? Poker face, I'm in the game, right? Need a week to think. Maybe Before we get into the video all the way, y'all, we are doing a Cool Gray giveaway. The Air Jordan 4 Cool Gray set to release August 1st. Suggested retail sticker of $190. Me and the bros have teamed up and we're going to be doing this giveaway absolutely free. Rules are very simple. They will be in the link in the description box. All you have to do is be subscribed to our YouTube channels. That's myself, The Vintage World, Skip Goes Hard, and Sneaker Editions. And be following us all on Instagram. And make sure that you don't have anything on private. We got to be able to see that you are actually subbed and you are actually following us on IG and YouTube. And then come back to the video, comment your IG and your shoe size, and you will be entered. We will announce the winner before the shoes drop. So go ahead, look down, link in the description box, enter the giveaway. It's very simple. And y'all, we're going to get straight to the video. Yeah, it! What's going on YouTube? It's your boy the Retro Wiz Kid, the Shoeologist, and y'all rocking with your boy in the Sneaker Dungeon, y'all. Hope everybody's having a great day, as y'all see by the thumbnail. I got a big box, pause, and I don't know how I'm going to title this video, but shout out to my bro, Rep Milwaukee 414 I will leave his link in the description box to his YouTube as well to his IG. That way you guys can follow him on both of them and subscribe, as well as to the Sneakerhead clothing line. You guys can go over there and follow him as well on that page. Now, he blessed me with a dope, dope package, y'all. So recently, I slid over to Rep's crib and I was with the vintage. And we was, you know, we do what we do. We talking about sneakers, we talking about Funkos. Hey, that man got a crazy Funko collection, y'all. Don't sleep on him with them Funkos. And, you know, just all regular stuff that, you know, talking off the line about stuff. Not really YouTube or nothing like that, just kicking it with the bros. So, we was talking about, you know, how to keep your shoes organized. And y'all know I'm a huge, huge box gang shawty type of dude man i love my sneaker boxes y'all i truly do I, I i don't feel like i would ever part with them but we got to talking and this isn't the first time that somebody said this to me a lot of people have said that they think that i should cross over to the dark side and y'all already know what that is man they think i should cross over to these containers now me personally I really have, I, I like the way that this looks. I love the way that it reminds me of being inside a Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs, whatever you, whatever sneaker store you want to call out, this is what it reminds me of. I actually got the idea from Kicks over in Germany because I used to always go back there and check out the shoes and stuff like that and see what they had when they would get stuff in. And I just really like the vibes like this. Now, as of recently, we all know that the container store made black containers now i don't know actually i do know it is the black containers that have really caught my eye i am digging those black containers and shout out to rep milwaukee 414 in the container store they blessed your boy with some containers y'all so i was able to get these now we're gonna go ahead we're gonna crack these bad boys open i probably just shook the camera and all that good stuff but we're gonna we're gonna crack these bad boys open man we're gonna check them out y'all I think that the black containers are crazy, man. And maybe that's what's changing my mind because I don't really like the white ones. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like the white ones, but these black ones, woo, them things looking good. Now, y'all know the container store, you got the nice little, little, little pull down right there. And of course we have container store written right there on the box. Now, I'm going to show you guys what these things look like. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and put a pair of shoes in these real quick. So bada bing, bada boom, we slid the bread fours inside this one right here. Um, this is actually the pair that I do wear. So I'm thinking more so right now because I did the math, y'all. It's gonna be like 2,500 plus for me to like convert all these shoes to containers. I'm gonna just put the ones that I wear the most or either ones that I just feel like, you know, I'd like to see them in the container right now. So. 
I don't I got a lot of shoes and I gotta choose from them to put them in there. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna check out. I got the out of the box sneaker rotation, meaning that those are the shoes. If you guys are new to the channel, those are the shoes that I don't put back inside of the boxes. I just keep them out at all times. And I used to have them on a little shelf and everything, but I took that shelf out of here to make room for the container. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start this mini container mountain, y'all. And hey, who knows, man? We might just go ahead and convert them all, but these black containers, they looking mighty good. You know what I'm saying? And I must be, I, I must be true, and I must say that when you do have a lot of shoes and you start, I'm out of space. I'm gonna be honest. I don't have, I only have six racks. I got a whole leaning tower of sneakers over there. And the vintage was like, I should show y'all, but I ain't showing y'all that shit. It's it's leaning like like lean back you know what i'm saying that shit leaning over there bro is that shit leaning that shit leaning bro that shit's leaning bro we got boost we got doggone ones we, man that shit leaning over there man so i think that this is definitely a great way if i should convert to have the black ones i just i do all black man all black all the way around the room i think that shit fuego so let's go ahead let's check out a couple of them set up real quick Now we're gonna open these things up, y'all, because I know that it's probably a glare on the thing. So we're gonna open these up real quick. And uh, we're gonna start putting some kicks up in there, man. So on the bottom, y'all can see I went with a Yeezy roll. I went on hand threw the statics in there. Then I put the triple blacks in there. Then I threw the wave runners. Then we got the infrared sixes. Those are the ones that have that more salmon pink color. And I think that's like 2014. We got the Space Jam double up. We have my Concord double up. Then coming on up, we went on ahead and we hit it with the Bread 4 double up. Then I have my black cements from like 2011. We have the white cement fours from 2012. Then the classic OG colorways right there. So we're gonna throw a couple pops up there, y'all, because we got a little space up there until we get some more drop fronts. And these are pretty much my double up Funko pops right here that I have. And I'm gonna do them like this. Bada bing, bada boom. Y'all comment down, let me know what you guys think about the new sneaker setup for the out of the box sneaker rotation. Now I'm gonna be honest y'all, I don't know if I'm actually gonna keep all those shoes in there because my turbo greens actually belong in there somewhere y'all. The turbo greens belong in there somewhere. They should be on that wall. But as of right now, we are gonna leave it like this. Now this is what the wall actually looks like. Um, like I said, we're not gonna go all the way around because all them shoes done fell over here because they're not on a rack. And yeah, and then I still got sneakers downstairs in the garage. A lot of work to be done if I do convert to the drop fronts. What do you think, Dirt? You need drop fronts. But like, comment, subscribe. Y'all already know about the giveaways. All the links and everything will be in the description box. The rules. We got the Cool Grade 4 giveaway. We have the AirPod giveaway. Everything that you want to do will be in the link in the description box. Make sure you guys go ahead over there. Follow me on all my social media platforms. Instagram, Twitter, and I do follow back. And splack that like button over there on Facebook. It's your boy, the Retro Wiz Kid, and I got... The Vintage World, man. Come tune in, you feel me? I gotta put my plug in. <laughs> hey, save 30% off on your nakeds, man. Naked.com, serve 30% off using the code The Vintage World. You did! This man is a fool, man. This man, he. Only person I know that advertises for naked, man. Hey, put me on, bro. I'm trying to get that naked sponsor, too. But y'all already know, man. We're gonna catch y'all tomorrow in the next video. You did!